Hey guys, uh, Sam here again from fightforex.info. Today's video is um, to show you how to use our EA, the MT4 EA, to send data to your website. If you are using the FX report software and if you have created your account and you want to use the EA instead of using our proprietary data connector service then this video will show you how to use that EA step by step so it's a seven step process and I'm gonna walk through each step with an example okay so again let's say that you're trying to use the um, software to send your trading activity or your traders trading activity to your website and let's say you are the admin and you have members that have mt4 accounts and you want to use our ea to send their trading activity to the website so it can be shown in their dashboard right so let me show you an example of how the dashboard looks like uh, let me find one good example all right let's see if we can look at this dashboard yeah so this is the dashboard that you're trying to build for your users or your own maybe uh, trading activity and you want to use the EA instead of our other automated service, right? So if you want to do that, you have to start with the seven step process. The first step is that you create the account on the FX report website or your own website in this case. For that, you must have an admin account already created, which will give you a dashboard like this, right? So again, trying to make sure we are uh, clear. So you are the admin and you're trying to create either your own or your member's account to send the data, right? So first step is to get your admin account. Let's say you have the admin account. In this case, I'm using my own test account. And now your goal is to add a new user account that you want to use the EA for, right? So you can either add a brand new user. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's call this user um, 17. Any random email I'm going to choose. Of course, this will be the actual email of the user. And I'm going to choose a password and some name for them. Okay, test name. Right, so I added my user account. Then I go to existing users and I want to now, this is the one we just added, now add the trading account under this user, right? So let's say for the purposes of this testing that user is using an IG account, it's a demo account, account number 5357 blah blah blah, and you want to use the EA to send this account's trading activity to the site. So in this example, now the user S Chupade 17 is this one. And now they have one MT4 account, which is 535739 at ig.com. And now you're going to use our EA to send their trading activity, right? So first step, you created the user account on the website. So we are uh, actually, we haven't finished that process. So let's go back and make sure we finish it. So we first created the user, now we are adding their trading account. Let's say they are part of my FTMO like challenge or whatever program you create. The account number is 535739. It's a demo account, the broker is IG uh, deposit initially. I'm gonna start with because I've been using this account for other testing, there's already some trades uh, which have brought the balance down to 9300 from 10,000. So 
If, if I, I use 10,000, this will immediately get blocked because it's uh, under the 5% drawdown limit. So I'm going to just for the testing purposes assume that this account was created at 9,400. So I can fully show the FTP process without having to worry about getting the account blocked. Now, since you're going to use the EA, you don't need to fill these. These are required only if you want to use our automated service um, to read the data. But if you don't want to use it and you want to do the EA uh, option, like here, then don't need to fill these. Okay, leave these blank. So I go ahead and add this account. Right, so now the account is added. So go back existing users we added it under user id this and go here so this is the account we just added right we said it's starting balance is this this is this there's no activity and now we want to see the dashboard right now of course no trading has happened so there is no records found now we move to the second step so second step is for you to request the FTP account for this user okay now if the software is installed on your own site then you can create that FTP account for this user or you can use a generic FTP account it's up to you but for security reasons if you're using the software on our site you need to request for each user an account from us. So when you do that, you have to tell us what uh, user ID that is, so we can go ahead and build the account. So in this case, I'm gonna create a new account. The user that we um, are trying to set up is user this, it's Japati17. So I'm gonna create an account for them. Let's say the password is welcome1. And this is for my site Fight Forex, and the path will be uh, something I will have to build first. So all these things we will do and and in the back end for you if you're using our um, site for this. But if you're doing this on your own site, you have to essentially create the account, uh, folder structure, and FTP account, and all that. So. When we do this, uh, we need to then give this user access to the folder. We add the account. So now we have um, account that is so we go to this. So we have now created an account and this will be the user. Then we created the password as welcome one. And the host in this case, it's my website. So I'm gonna say fightforex.info and the path I created was a folder with the user ID as Chapari 17. Right, so these are the details we'll need further, but this is what it means when you say request the FTP account. So we will create all these things and give you these four things to work with. If it's your own website, you can do this on your own website. Then the next step is to set up the account and the MT4 instance on a VPS, right? Now, for the sake of this uh, video, I'm just going to run it on my own laptop. Uh, but ideally, you would need a VPS. Okay. Now, let's say you have done this. Step four is you save the FTP details in the MT4. So the way to do that is you go to Tools, Options, and go to the tab that says FTP. Now, we have given you this information. So you will... Put this as the server. The path will be in this case this. So you will put it here. The user ID is given to you as this or whatever user ID you have created. 
and the password is welcome one. Make sure you click the passive mode and then just hit test. It says successfully queued, so let's just make sure. Oh, there is some error in publishing. So I, uh, sorry about the hiccup, just figured it out. Actually, the path was incorrect. So since the user is set up to access a specific uh, folder on the site, I just had to give the path as this. So just test. And here in the journal tab, you should see that it was OK. Now, this is the end of step two. Uh, sorry, uh, step four now. And we tested the FTP connection. It works fine. Now we go back um, and set up the account on MT4. So in this case, I'm just running it on my machine. You log in. Since this is an account created for uh, trading for your users, you may not always have the master password. That is okay. You can log in uh, with the investor password here. So you need to have at least the investor password, of course. Now, the next step is to get the EA and install it in the experts folder. So let's go ahead and do that. So we go back to the site, go back to the admin dashboard, download the EA. And we download it in our machine. We go to the folder where it was downloaded. Now, this was downloaded by me multiple times, so now it's creating these copies with the bracket and the number inside. Uh, you don't need that. You will most likely not have that issue. I will tell you how to deal with it once if it happens for you. So go back to your MetaTrader 4 where you're trying to get the data. Um, go to Meta Quotes Language Editor. Once that opens, open the navigator window here, right click on Experts and Open Folder. And you want the EA that you downloaded, so copy this, to be in this folder. Right? Now, if you have this issue, just go ahead and remove this stuff. So all you need is, is uh, this. Now, I already have this, so it's going to say, uh, do you want to change? Uh, I don't, so I will use this one. But you have to copy it in this folder. Go back. Go to the um, navigator window on the main MetaTrader 4. And in Experts, go and say Refresh. Once you refresh, you'll see the expert that you just copied. Um, open any chart. In this case, use the CHF H1 and add it on the chart. Now, when you add it, the first thing it's going to ask you to say is the user ID. So make sure you put the correct user ID. And last ticket is something if you have a very big account and you don't want the uh, EA to send all the data every time, you can mention the ticket number. For most cases, just leave it at zero and update seconds is 30. So this is the every 30, 300 seconds uh, it's going to send in this case. You can change it to 60 if you like um, and click OK. Right now, since the markets are closed, we're not going to see update every 60 seconds. That can happen only when the market is open. But what you do need to make sure is that the FTP connection was successful. So file operation OK and send off the file was also OK. So if we go back here and refresh, we see the file. This statement came through because we uh, have updated the FTP settings, you can ignore this. Also, this is all happening behind the scenes. You don't need to worry about it. Um, we go back and I believe this is the, sorry, this is the dashboard. So user is 17, account is this. Let's go ahead and refresh. Yeah, so this is the data that has come in. So, um, 
it, it's a used account so we already have the um, have the trading history we started it with 94 current balance is this and if markets are open I could show you the actual trading but this is essentially the step number six and seven so let's just review you first create the user account then you request the FTP account or if it's your own website you create it you create, set up the MT4 on the VPS or you if you are okay you can give the uh, EA to your user but please make sure that when you hand over the FTP details uh, you have taken all the security precautions otherwise the user will have FTP access to your entire site um, if you need help there just let us know step 4 save the FTP details in the MT4 step 5 log in to the user's account and then install this EA and run it on the chart and then make sure you see the data on the dashboard here right so that is how you use the EA from end to end uh, it's a little bit complicated process but once you get it right it will be uh, updating the uh, user data on the frequency that you set okay uh, hope this was clear enough and uh, good luck thank you